What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sir Void and welcome back to Dawn. Now I know it's been a while since I made a video on here and I'm sorry I've been up uh, gone for a while but I know the other guys have been picking up my slack and Dawn has stayed just as strong as it was and I'm glad to be back, glad to be making videos again and I want to talk about a couple things before we go ahead and get into the topic. So first of all, Game Until Dawn, if you guys weren't there you should have been and next time uh, Dawn puts out a video every time it's going to go on and Rapscallion is streaming it and next time hopefully I'll be streaming it and hopefully we can get some other guys streaming it as well if they're able to. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and I'm really glad I've done it. I didn't get to stay for the whole time, unfortunately. Uh, I had school the next day. It wasn't really the most opportune day to have it. We had it on a Sunday. Next time, I'm hoping we move it back to a Saturday or Friday, and I'll talk to the guys, and I think we're going to be doing that. Uh, but it was a lot of fun, and we'll definitely be hosting more of those soon. And the videos will always be out on YouTube, so if you're thinking we might be having one, uh, we'll try and announce it beforehand. But if you haven't caught that, just look on uh, Saturday night, or maybe send one of us a message. Of course, you can always play with us. Uh, and we'll have those, and it'll be a lot of fun. We played some really fun games while we were there, and it was a ton of fun, really great time. But what I really wanted to talk about today is the Halo 2 anniversary rumors that have been floating around. And not just about the Halo 2 anniversary rumors. We've, you know, a lot of people have been through all of that, you know, why we think there might be a Halo 2 anniversary, why we think there might be a Halo 2 remake, and what would be going on with that. But really what I want to talk about is whether it's a good or a bad idea to have it. Uh, because, you know... What Halo 2 Anniversary does, if you don't realize, is that have, putting a Halo 2 Anniversary out this year instead of moving, uh, instead of having Halo 5 come out, that pushes Halo 5 back at least one more year into the future, um, which does a couple things, and it messes up the community in a little bit of ways, but in my opinion, it does more good than harm, but I'll talk to that in just a second, and you guys can leave your feedback at the very end. So, um... The bad thing about it is that it leaves no new innovation for Halo for another year. Doing a Halo 2 anniversary means you're recycling the campaign in an HD version, which is great, but there's no new plot twist, nothing to look forward to in the campaign if you've already played it. However, for those who haven't, it gives a lot of the background knowledge on Master Chief that you may have not realized already, especially if you jumped on the Halo bandwagon in Halo 4 or 3. So that's a good idea, uh, because getting Halo 2 and Halo 1 can sometimes be kind of hard. Um, you can get it in most places, but... Occasionally places just don't have it or their copies are in bad shape. So uh, that's good for some people. Um, it also, the good things, and I think these really outwhelm the uh, the new you know new innovation on the campaign or anything in the multiplayer, really. Um, it gives more development time on Halo 5, and that's my favorite part about this, is that it allows a lot more development time on Halo 5. Because now 3 for 3, assuming it comes out a year after Halo 2, which is, I assume Halo 2 would come out this November-ish? and then Halo 5 would be scheduled for next uh, winter. Um, so if it comes out this November, or any time this winter, that leaves a, no, a whole another year at least for Halo 5 to develop. And we all know a big problem with Halo 4 is the lack of development time that went on with it. Uh, they just didn't have enough time to really get a good game out. Because a lot of the features were underdeveloped, and they had to fix a lot, fix a lot of stuff after launch. It was a long time before everything was working correctly, especially CSR. So the idea of having the new game out... Um, and giving them one more year of development really puts Halo 5 in a really good position. It also, you know, spreads the hype a little bit. Uh, it also rejuvenates the Halo spirit in the old players. Because, um, if you guys don't know, a lot of people that play games right now, you know, they play Minecraft, they play COD, doesn't matter what game it is. Any person that, you know, has ever played console, they very, very likely started on Halo. Uh, I know a lot of really big COD people that played Halo to begin with, because COD wasn't really as big back then, and Halo was the game to play. It was a lot of game, where, a game where a lot of people started, and it was a lot of fun to play. I played it back then, and I continue to play it now. But some people who moved out of the community played it, uh, and they really had a lot of time with it, especially Halo 2. Halo 2 was extremely popular. So if some people come back into Halo 2, jump back on the Halo bandwagon, uh, that may bring a lot of people back. You know, like, you know I like Halo again. I'm going to give Halo 5 a shot instead of Halo 5 just coming out, and they're like, eh, you know, I'm not going to get that. I don't know what it's about. If they're playing a game they already play, they know is good, they'll go ahead and buy it. And the good thing about that is that rumors are that Halo 2 will allow beta access for Halo 5. And allowing beta, beta access for Halo 5, first of all, it gives us a beta that we never had in Halo 4 that we really needed. So the idea of a beta is a great idea. And also the, a chance to test Halo 5 and really get the beta going. Uh, you know, people that have already been playing 2, you know, I'll jump on the Halo 5, I already got Halo 2. Um, that'll really give them, a, you know, a good chance to see what the game's about. You know, if they enjoy it, uh, 343 can make them enjoy the game at the beta stage, then they'll really have a lot of fun with the game because Reach had a beta, and everyone says they really, really like the Reach beta. I personally enjoyed the Reach beta. I thought it was so much fun. It took me a while to actually get a copy of Reach, but I super enjoy the Halo Reach beta. Even if the game wasn't the best, you know, Reach is definitely not the best Halo out there. Uh, the beta was still a ton of fun, you know, getting on there and like, Dude, I get to go play Halo Reach. You know, that game's not even going to be out for a while. And I get to play the beta. I get to see, watch the game evolve. 
Uh, that's that's really good. And Halo 2 gives them a really easy way instead of just having an open beta. You know, people buy Halo 2 to get that. So it's just, it's a win-win there. Uh, it also, you know, it's more feedback from the community, you know, on multiplayer tweaks. You know, they're... If Halo 2 beta, if Halo 2 anniversary comes out, there's rumors that a multiplayer will arrive with it. I'd be very shocked if they didn't have a multiplayer with it. So, you know, they're probably going to use a Halo 4 engine, I would guess. That's what they did with Halo Anniversary, they used the Reach engine. I wouldn't suspect they're creating a whole new engine for Halo 2 Anniversary just because that would be a lot more work than I assume they want to go through. Uh, so they'll probably use the Halo 4 engine. So they can try out new things with that, you know, they can tweak some things, you know, like they did in Anniversary, see how things go. And if they really get everything working well, and they can really, really see, you know, what we like in multiplayer, what we want to see, and, you know, incorporate that in Halo 5, which is just, you know, another way to push Halo 5 forward, which I think is a really good idea. I think they're all around is a really good idea to have Halo 2 Anniversary come out. Again, you know, you're waiting a little while for Halo 5, and some people that are already excited for the game may be a little bummed, but honestly, I think it's just a, overall, in the long term, it's a win for Halo 5, and a win for 343, especially in bringing back some of the older community members. But that's just my think thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave your thoughts down below in the comments. And then make it featured in next week's video. If you guys liked and enjoyed, please subscribe to Dawn. And if you want to see more of me, click on the link to my channel. And thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Void out.